Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I am back with another tutorial, and it should be really fun and interesting, so make sure to stick around, but let's just get right on into it. Now you're going to need to be doing a lot of digging, so I would suggest getting yourself a efficiency 5 pick with a nice big uh, haste 2 beacon. Uh, so this is kind of the shape that you guys want to be doing uh, if I just fly up a little bit. And yes, I did do this in survival. <laughs> um, it's just kind of a nice big diamond shape. I do believe that this is 21 by 21 blocks. So from here to here, so from right here to right here, counting those two blocks, it is 21 apart. Um, so that's the inside um, inside di diameter, I believe it is called. And if we head over here, it's the same over here. So from here to here, once again, counting these two blocks, it is 21 blocks. Uh, now, you are going to have to bring this down by quite a lot. You're going to have to bring it down by 30 blocks and I know that sounds a lot because it is a lot uh, but I know that you can do it with the right tools and the time uh, I'm making it in the mind fighter SMP so I bet you guys can do it yourselves too so once you have that you want to come right to the middle and you want to make a 3x3 three three area just like this and what you want to do is you want to destroy uh, so two blocks down then get out some hoppers and you want these all to be leading into one place. So I'm going to have it going in this direction, like so. And then have all the hoppers going somehow into that one hopper at the end. And then let's do up here and just like that. And now if I place, let's say, just throw an item in there, it should end up right there. So that is working properly. So this part's pretty hard, but I'm going to take it step by step for you guys. You want to place some powered rails. does not matter which way they want to go. Uh, it's easier to have them powered instead of just regular rails. And then what you want to do is you want to place some hopper mine carts uh, on top of two of the lanes, the rows. And you also want to destroy these. And then you just take out those little... Uh, rails on them and if they have a tiny hitbox that you can still hit it's just a little bit difficult at times but it is definitely possible and then you can just cover up that and then you just do it on this side too um, the reason I didn't do it on this side earlier was because we had to get to those hitboxes in the middle and then just once again cover this up now what you want to do after that is you want to take some magma blocks and this is going to actually be what is going to kill all the creepers that fall. And then you want to, uh, by the way, if you crouch on magma, blo magma, magma blocks, you will not take any damage. Uh, but what you want to do after this is you want to place some pistons. You want to bring it up by a few like this. And then you want to bring it down like so. And you want to have every single one of these facing downwards. So I'm gonna go around and finish this all off because this is going to take a little bit to get them all facing downwards. And man, I can I even get this one? There we go. Um, actually, I'll just finish it up really fast like that. Ooh, like that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take some slams and you just place them across like this. And then you go up here and you just have to power all these pistons. I'm just going to use some uh, redstone blocks, but you can use whatever you want. And then just destroy these all after. And you should see all you have are slabs now. And then just destroy all the pistons, destroy all the slabs like this. And now what you should have is once you throw it there, it disappears. And man, I thought that this was the correct side. It's not. It's right here. Where is that? Oh, it's the wrong side again. It's like right here. There's that hopper. I'm going to have to redo this. Make sure you know where your hopper is. Um, well, 
Do I have to redo it? That actually just went back into place. Can I just push that back? All right, just give me a minute. And there we go. Now if we place an item in there, it should come up into this hopper. And if we place sandstone, there it is. Uh, so this hopper line is going to be taking all of the things that come out of your farm, farm and it's going to go wherever you want it to go. So I'm just going to have it come like this. And then you can go into a water elevator, dispenser, whatever you want, if you want it to get back to the surface. Uh, but you can just cover all this up now. Uh, now you might notice that I covered the walls with just like one out, uh, one coming out on the bottom. And that is because of the next step. What you'll need for this step is just some water. And now what you want to do is just place this water all the way around now this will take some time so you gotta be patient but after digging out that gigantic hole I'm sure you guys will be thankful that this goes well very fast compared to that um, it's going to be harder if you don't have like a whole bunch of buckets and you're not in creative mode you're in survival but once you're done if you did all the width uh, right then you'll see that you have a 3x3 three three area where all your blocks are so now if we shoot an item into there it will be carried out and sucked into there so if you have that working then you're doing all right <laughs> um, now this is the part where it starts to get a little bit harder now you guys are probably at the point where you're just like please tell me I'm done yeah you guys are not even that close what you want to do is you want to come up from this water so that you're not destroying that water block whatever it's called and you just want to come up one block and destroy a few and then you want to take your cobblestone slab and place it on the top of that now if you guys haven't figured it out already what you want to do is you want to come off two blocks and then the third one place this and what you want to do is you oh no oops and you what you want to do is you want to keep on going zig oh jeez z zig zag like the oh my gosh I don't usually mess up like this when I was doing mine uh, you want to go zigzag just like this uh, this will take some time and some patience and the problem is that you're going to be doing this a lot so once you get to this corner you just go back zig oops zigzagging and if you ever fall into the water you're gonna want to have elytras because it's going to be very hard to get back up uh, but if you have elite treasures, it's super easy. If you also have rockets with you, then you just just fire yourself all the way up to the surface, and it works all great. So once you have kind of like this outline right here, where it goes here into here, what you can do is you can just start to fill all this in with slabs, and then just come out by one each time until you hit. And if you just make a mistake, destroy that uh, until you hit. Uh, that very end block so we have two more lines to go once you reach this one where it's like the farthest out what you want to do is you want to once again bring it very very far out and you guys can probably guess we're just making a diamond shape so you bring that all the way out and then for this one you actually don't bring it out one you just bring it in by one like so just like that and now you're just going to keep on bringing it in by one so now you should probably have something that looks like this and you're probably thinking to yourself yes i have that i am done i'm so happy yeah no <laughs> you're you're not close uh, so what you want to do is you want to bring it up by three blocks and you want to place one there and like that and like that and like that and you keep on bringing it out until you have yet another diamond all right, so finally you have your second layer. You're done, right? I'm so sorry, but no, no, you're really, really not. This is where it even starts to get really expensive with iron because you need, um, well, actually not with iron, but with wood and later iron because you need a lot of trapped doors. Now, this can be any type, but you're going to need a lot of them. What you need to do is you need to cover all of these slabs with these trap doors so you can go back and forth uh, you can do whatever technique you want but yeah you gotta cover every single one 
with a trap door and it's going to start to get expensive sadly all right you should have something that looks like this you guys are probably like hey that wasn't that expensive it wasn't that bad guess what you're gonna have to repeat this about 10 times with all these slabs and trap doors and there's even another step after that now really fast you guys might be wondering why why do we need all these trap doors uh, it's for creepers. If you guys want this to be a creeper only farm, you need these trap doors because creepers are just a little bit less than two blocks. So they can fit in here, but they can also fit under a trap door too. While most mobs, like zombies and I don't know, uh, skeletons, they're exactly two blocks high and they cannot fit under trap doors, therefore, they will not spawn. Uh, so this is a super duper cool idea and if you cover this or it's night or something here you know what let's time set 14,000 you should start to see if we come up here and wait a little bit so here we go we have just a few creepers in here oops it hasn't been that long though it's been like maybe five minutes and we also have some guys spawning up here ever heard uh, seen a floating torch by the way i thought this was fun i did like the fill command so that i could light up a big area uh but anyway if we head down here if we try to get in uh okay there we go uh and we place a water bucket because we're gonna have like a dispenser thing that's going to do that for us but if we just try to do it manually right now you should see Oh no, oh no, I did it just a little bit wrong. You gotta take out all this. I'm so sorry if you guys followed me along and got it wrong too. But you'll see that the creepers start to go over here. I guess I waterlogged that, my bad. Uh, but you'll see that the creepers start to come over here and then they'll be burnt. And once they die, any minute now, Come on. Ooh, it does take a while. There we go. Uh, their items will immediately be picked up. And I believe that the hoppers are over here. Yeah. If we go check out how they're doing. Man, how far back does this have to go? Right here. You'll see that we have four gunpowder now. Which means that is working correctly. And there's another one. I saw that one drop gunpowder too. If we just take out these blocks, I'm so sorry that I got it wrong, guys. I'm so, so sorry. But you can see that only creepers have spawned, and I promise, I promise you guys, I have not spawned these guys in. I actually did wait five minutes, and these guys spawned by themselves. And you just have to continue up these layers a lot. So I'm going to get started on that. You want to do it uh, just too high, so like one, two and then bring it up by one more and place it like that. So actually it's three high and it's the higher part of the other one. And then you're going to have your trap doors. And once you finish up with all of them, like pretend that you have the full triangle, then once again, you're going to be placing all these and then this is going to be another layer for just creepers to spawn. and spiders can spawn on here but we're going to take care of that very very soon so as long as you're getting a few creepers then that's great uh, but now it's time for the next step which is repeating this over and over and over again just like this and then you come over here and you make that diamond shape again now you really are close to done so once you have many many layers going right up to the top right here uh, what you want to do is you want to actually get the water working so that water will keep on falling down and pushing all the monsters so what you want to do is you want to come to the middle and you just want to dig straight up to the very top like this or actually if you're in survival you might just want to dig straight down so what you want to do is you want to come all the way down to the bottom and you want a lot and a lot of dirt for this uh, and what you want to do is you want to break this layer and crouch on the magma block so you do not hurt yourself. And then you want to get out a bunch of observers. And what you want to do is you want to hit that hitbox on the 
uh, trap doors right on the edge of it so that the observer comes out like that. Then you can just build yourself back up. I'm going to use sandstone because I'm in creative mode. Uh, and then you just want to fill that up like so. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to come up here. You want to hit that hip hit box on the trap door like that. Build yourself up. Oop, can you get out of the way, Miss, Mr. Bat? There we go. And then break that. Replace that trap door and this slab. And then you break the trap door, break the slab, get that hit box on the trap door, build yourself up, destroy that, replace the trap door, and replace the slab. And you want to continue this all the way up. So once you have reached the very, very top, um, where you have no more to go, what you want to do is you want to come right down to that layer that you were at, get out a lot of dispensers, place it down, and put in some water, and then try to land on the next layer. Oi. Oh my gosh, I fell to the very bottom. Uh, it's a lot easier to do with the Litras, and you'll have to get used to it because you're gonna have to do this for each and every layer. I should have told you guys probably to do, oh my gosh, uh, to do this right after you place that observer. Probably would have saved you guys a bunch of time, but hopefully you guys watch this video before starting your own because I did add a suggestion to do that. And yeah, there's a reason why. <laughs> Uh, but if you guys just kind of went for it, I'm very sorry for, you know, making it very hard. It is a big project, and I'm doing it all from memory. Uh, but, yeah, I don't think you guys want to just listen to me talking, so I'm going to just finish this up. So once you have finished putting in all the water and everything, it's time for the big and final test to go all the way up here. At this observer, just place a block. And you'll probably find that love lag happens all of a sudden. But if you take a look, all the water has been dispensed. And if there's a creeper sitting here, they'll slowly but surely make their way all the way down, fall. And then they'll be pushed over here, be burnt, and then die and be picked up by their hoppers underneath. So if we head all the way back up here, if you break this block, once again, a lot of lag but you should see that all the water clears up, and if that is the case, then congratulations. So what you wanna do now is you wanna take this observer right here, and what you wanna do is you wanna take a block, one block uh, 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 right above it, and you wanna place another observer there, and that's going to take care of all that water. Then you can build yourself back up, destroy that, destroy that, and that'll send up all the water and then you can close all that off. Now what you wanna do is you wanna have a repeater and you wanna place that down and turn that to four ticks. Do another with four ticks right behind that, another with four ticks, and then one in front of it with four ticks. And then you want a thing of redstone dust. Then you want another repeater, redstone dust. And then, oof, we're getting close to the edge. You want one two more and then you want to come off the edge by one and you want to place a comparator on subtract mode and then come off the edge one more time grab a lever a, a lever what what i can't speak i'm sorry i've been trying my best to record but it's been a hard long day and then you want to put a bit of redstone dust there one right there and then a repeater on four ticks, repeater on four ticks, repeater on four ticks, redstone dust, repeater on four ticks, redstone dust, a repeater on four ticks, redstone dust, and then you want to do a repeater on four ticks, and then redstone dust, and then make sure this is on four ticks too. And now once you flick this lever, you'll see that the water will vanish. And then that will give room for creepers and everything to spawn. And then it will come back. It will push them all off the edge. And then 
in a minute, it'll do, yeah, it'll stop and it'll vanish all the water. And that is how everything works. There's just like one or two more steps left. First step is to make a roof. You need this to be dark. You need it to be very dark. Uh, but it is probably best if you light your controls up. Just to be safe. And instead of this whole big thing, I probably should have just made this go all the way. That way you can go up to your controls all safe and have it lit up and you don't um, have to worry about this being lit up and the first layer being unusable. So what I have done is I am setting it to go. Timer has started now and I set up like this little storage thing. It's just a tiny bit of storage. I'm going to get all this junk out really fast. Uh, but the items are going to travel up here and into this chest from all the drops from the creeper farm. Uh, this is also spiders, by the way. It will spawn spiders. If you do not want spiders, it's an easy fix. Just add pillars because spiders have to spawn in a 4x4 four four area. So, for example, a creeper could just spawn in this block, but a spider has to spawn in all four of these blocks. So, all you have to do is let's pretend you have your little diamond here let's say that this was your diamond Ooh, come on <laughs> sorry guys like this oh my gosh it's going really slow because of all the water all you have to do is like add a pillar here to the top and one two three four like a pillar here and now a spider cannot spawn on here that's really it so you just can add a few pillars and you'll be all good to go if you do not want string uh and spider eyes but if i just i'm just gonna let this run for like an hour and i'll be back when i am all done going afk so it has finally been exactly one hour and if we head into spectator mode maybe or maybe not i think it's night right now so you probably won't oh well nope never mind we have a lot of creepers Oh, well, is this how creepy see the world? That's weird. Uh, but you can see all of them are dying over here. And their things are going to get picked up from the hoppers. Go over here. Uh, I fixed this dropper, so now it works really well. Uh, this is the way to do it if you want to make your own. So that's a comparator. And block, redstone, block, redstone, repeater, redstone. Right into the dropper. And then they go all the way up into this elevator up here I think I already showed you guys this but it's still really cool and into the chest now the question is how much do we get from one hour this is just one hour guys one two three four five and more coming stacks and that's just gunpowder we also got three stacks of string so if you go afk overnight this is going to do really really good uh, the farm is way, way, way more active during the day than at night. So if we head into spectator mode, I bet there's already some down there waiting for us. Oh, well, you can see the stuff. So that means that one just died. But yeah, uh, you do have to be pretty high up. Like I'd say around here is the best bet if you want to get full use of the, uh, the farm every single layer. Uh, but yeah, this is absolutely an incredible farm. It will get you probably all the gunpowder that you really need. And it's just it's so cool. It's really, really cool. So if you guys enjoyed learning how to make this, then make sure to hit that like button. Uh, and if you guys want to see more really cool videos like this and also my Let's Plays, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell to not miss any videos that I do. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!